Good morning, I'm Eric Roselli, staff cardiac surgeon at the Cleveland Clinic. And I wanted to talk today about uh, what some of the new valve technology that we have available for aortic valve replacement. I have a simple model here, a plastic model that demonstrates a traditional bioprosthetic or tissue valve, which is typically sutured inside the aorta with multiple stitches. And that's a, a great device and we have uh, many devices available to us that we've used for years and had good outcomes with this. However, uh, these devices do take time to suture in and, 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 uh, and does require an open operation. Many of you have heard of one of the other newer technologies to treat aortic valve disease, of course, is the transcatheter valve replacement option. This is a device that's delivered in the least evasive approach with a puncture in the groin. And we also have a great experience. We've been one of the leading centers and we're one of the first centers in the U.S. to use the transcatheter valve technology that's now been around for over 10 years. A fundamental difference between the surgical valve and the transcatheter valve is that with a transcatheter valve replacement, as you can see in this model, the old diseased valve, that calcified valve, is left in place. It's pushed out of place uh, with the stent that's left inside. But we now also have a new technology available, which is a bit of a hybrid between those two approaches, and that is a sutureless valve. This model demonstrates the uh, commercially, now commercially available Percival valve, which is one of these sutureless valves. So we still uh, address the native diseased valve through a surgical approach, and we cut it out like we do for a surgical operation, but instead of putting anywhere from 12 to 20 sutures inside the aorta to sew the stented, uh, the regular stented valve in place. This Percival self-expanding valve, of which I have an actual sample here, is delivered inside the aorta. And when it's released, it's this stent that seals and holds it in place with no sutures at all. And those sutures are left behind. That speeds up the operation. Uh, and we've seen so far that these devices have been uh, very efficient in the initial trial and in the last several weeks it's now been commercially available in the U.S. We're the first center in the U.S. to use this commercially available valve and we've continued to use this valve over the last several weeks and have continued to have a great experience with it. We think that there's some very clear advantages to the use of this valve. Number one, we see that it shortens the amount of time that we have to have the heart stopped because we don't have to suture it in place. We think that that's especially important in patients who are undergoing a multi-component operation such as the patient we did yesterday who was uh, 85 years old, required three valves to be uh, addressed during the same operation plus coronary bypass surgery. So applying the Percival valve in that patient allowed us to save time and in a patient who's undergoing an extensive operation like that, we think there's some real benefit to it. We also think that this can be very helpful in the patients who have a calcified aorta that can be difficult to sew in. Slipping this valve inside after cutting the old diseased valve out provides a very nice option. And then the third group of patients who were already convinced that there's some potential benefit for this is the patients who are wishing to have a lesser invasive surgical approach. And one of the lesser invasive surgical approaches that we've gained a lot of experience over the last several years is, is a mini thoracotomy approach where we make an even smaller incision between the ribs and then we can still have the advantage of a surgical approach where we cut out the diseased valve. And because this valve is collapsible, it can be slipped through a very small incision in the chest and placed inside the aorta. So uh, we're excited to have this new technology and we will continue to apply it and learn about it as we go forward. There are some exciting things happening with regards to some additional investigations of this new technology. Specifically, uh, we'd like to see how important is it that we reduce the amount of time that the heart stopped. And, there's, and we're really excited about the uh, forthcoming PERSIST trial, which we will be uh, one of the leading centers involved in, where we'll be randomizing patients to a conventional surgical aortic valve versus the Percival sutureless valve to assess uh, some of the uh, additional details that we think might be beneficial for patients, but so far have not been totally proven. 
anyway, it's an exciting time in cardiovascular surgery and in the, in the uh, world of medicine where we treat cardiovascular disease because we're involved with new technologies and continuously doing our best to treat patients better, to treat patients safer, and to give them not only longer lives, but better quality in those lives when we extend them. Thank you for your attention today.